Determine whether the series converges or diverges. In this case, the first test you want to try is the nth term test. So if we try that, that means we take the limit as n goes to infinity of our nth term of this piece here. So that's the ln of m plus 1 over n. So when you do this, these degrees are the same. So the limit here is the ratio of the leading coefficients. So there's a 1 here and there's a 1 here. So you just get the ln of 1 over 1, which is 1. And the ln of 1 is 0, so the nth term test fails. So that was completely useless. Um, another way to think about the limit is you can break it up. It's n over n plus 1 over n. So that's ln of 1 plus 1 over n. And then as n goes to infinity, this approaches the natural log of 1, which is 0, because 1 over n here approaches 0. So the nth term test is completely useless. It doesn't help, but it's something that you should at least mentally think about. Okay, so how do we do this? One idea um, that I'm having is maybe we'll try to use the telescoping series. I think this might be telescoping. So I'm going to set ln, a sub n equal to ln of n plus 1 over n. And using the properties of logs, we can write this as the natural log of n plus 1 minus the natural log of n. Now we're going to write down the nth partial sum, and then we're going to take the limit. If we get an answer, that means the series converges. That's the definition of convergence. If we don't get an answer, then the series diverges. So we're going to write down the nth partial sum. So that's a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus dot, 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 plus. And I'm going to go to a sub n minus 1, and then a sub n. Now we're carefully, carefully, carefully going to plug everything in. So let's see, a sub 1, that's going to be ln, 1 plus 1 is 2, so that's ln 2 minus ln 1. That's a sub 1. I'm putting it in parentheses, right? That's, that's our first term. Plus a sub 2, so 2 plus 1 is 3, so that's ln 3 minus ln 2, right? Because we're plugging in 2. So 2 plus 1 is 3, and then minus ln 2. Looks okay. Plus a sub 3. Now we're plugging in 3, so it'd be 3 plus 1 is 4, minus ln 3. Beautiful stuff. Plus dot, 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 plus. Now we're plugging in n minus 1 here. So n minus 1 plus 1 is n. So it's ln n minus ln n minus 1. And then the last one is a sub n which we already have written down. So ln n plus 1 minus ln n. Okay, now if this is telescoping, some stuff should cancel. I have no idea if it does yet because <laughs> um, I haven't done this problem. So let's see. So s sub n. Let's see, ln 1 is 0, so that, that goes away. Let's see, ln 2 cancels with the one before it at the beginning. Boom. ln 3 cancels with the one before it at the beginning. See that? Boom. So this one will cancel with the one over here. ln n cancels with, with the one before at the beginning. Boom. Right? This one will cancel with the one before it at the beginning. Boom. So we're left with, simply, all of this goes away. So we're left with just this piece here, right? ln n plus 1. And this approaches infinity as n approaches infinity, right? So that means that this series diverges. And it's not really a test that we're using, right? This is just the definition of convergence and divergence. If you take this limit and you get an answer, then we say the series converges to this number. If we don't get an answer, then we say the series uh, diverges. Hope that made sense.